Excuse me, guys. Which one's bigger, red or blue? Pink. <laughs> red. <laughs> red. Okay, you ready? How about now? Oh, the blue one. <laughs> Wait, they're the same. Can we do it again? Okay, you ready? Which is bigger now? I don't oh. know. Red one. Red one? Okay. Ah. All those answers are wrong because they're the same size. Oh. <laughs> do you have any more magic tricks? Um, okay. Here's here's one. Are you a good person? Of course. Of yeah. course. Yes? All yeses? <laughs> You're shaking your head. You're the only one saying no. <laughs> Let me Pretty give your friends. I try to be. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how you're doing, okay? okay? Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. Yes. Yes. What do you call people who tell lies? Liars. Liar. So what are you? Liar. Liar. Have you ever taken something that didn't belong to you ever in your whole life, like candy and answer from somebody's test? Yeah. 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 What do you call people who steal? Steal. steal. A thief? Oh, a okay. thief. So what are you? I'm a thief. You're a lying thief. <laughs> have your parents ever punished you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That means you haven't always honored your father and your mother. Mm-hmm. Have you ever met somebody you like really didn't like, like you kind of hated them? Yeah. yeah. Well, Jesus said, if you hate someone without cause, you've committed murder in your heart. So by your admission, you're a liar, or a thief, disobedient, rebellious, and a murderer at heart. Is that a good person? No. No. If you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Guilty, I guess. Should God let guilty people into heaven? No. So where would you have gone if you died yesterday? Hell. You said it, I didn't. I only asked questions. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, hold on. Here's the good news. Did you know that you don't have to go to hell? God did something for you so you can still be forgiven. What did God do for you? Do you know? He died Put us on sins. this word. Well, okay. Oh, he, that's right. That's right. And Jesus Christ is God who died for you on the cross, who rose again on the third day. Does that mean everybody goes to heaven? <clears throat> no. Who goes to heaven? Good people. If that's true, you're not going. Yeah. Here's the good news. <laughs> Here's the good news. It doesn't work that way. Did you know that good people do not go to heaven? Do you, do you know why? They don't exist. The Bible says there's no one righteous, not even one. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Let me tell you how to go to heaven. Jesus, who died for you, who is God, said, He who believes in me has everlasting life. What do you have to do? In God. Jews and Muslims believe in God. Are they going to heaven? Yeah. No. They're missing something. Jesus said, he who believes in me has everlasting life. What do you have to believe in? God is Jesus. Jesus specifically. Mm -hmm. God is a trinity. The Father is God. The Son is God. The Holy Spirit is God. But there's only one God. Which one of those three died for you on the cross? Jesus. The Son. John 3.36. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Must believe in the Son. Preach. Amen. <laughs> so... How you go to heaven is you repent of your sins and believe in Jesus. Mm. You guys did not know how to go to heaven until just now. <laughs> Do you believe this message I just shared with you out of the Bible called the Gospel? Are you ready to lay down your old life, lay down your sins, pick up the cross and follow Jesus starting right now, even if Jesus leads you to suffering and death? You ready? No. No? Is that a yes for you? Are you ready? So for you too. I've already been, been baptized. Already. Baptism does not save you. Yeah, same. Mm. You should be saved first and then baptized. Mm. So, the way to go to heaven is to believe in Jesus. Okay, so can I pray for you to, to receive Jesus right now? What's your first name? Caitlin. Caitlin? Uh, Haley. Haley. Number one, first, okay. Do you agree that you're a sinner like everybody else deserving hell? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is God who died for you on the cross, paid the penalty? He rose again on the third day, you believe that? Yes. So you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? Yes, Let me pray for you. May I touch your shoulders? Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray for these two young ladies. Would you please receive them in the kingdom? They just believed in the gospel. They've heard it and understood it. So wash away their sins by Jesus' blood. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. And send them out into the world as new creations, preaching the gospel everywhere they go. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Listen, guys, it's that simple. Simple faith saves you. You should get baptized after you're saved. Baptism does not save you. Mm. And if you're truly saved, you will change. Your old sins should start to fall away, and you should become more more like Jesus day by day. Um, do you guys go to a church somewhere? Yes. Yes. What's the name of your church? Uh, I go I go to an academy up in New York. We have a Jesus program. A okay. St. Martha's Catholic Church. Can I share with you the, an important difference between Catholicism and, and Christian church? Sure. The Bible says in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. Do you know what that's telling you? It's, it's telling you how you're saved, that you can't, you don't need to do anything to be saved, not of works. Do you agree with God? 
Yes. then you're not a Catholic, you're a Christian. Because the Catholic Church says you have to earn your salvation by good works. The Bible says you're saved the instant you believe, and then when you do believe, you'll start to do good works. There's evidence. So go to a Christian church. God bless you guys. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you.